Dov Mazal is a co-founder and vice president of operations for the Israeli rescue organization United Hatzalah. He's on the scene in Mount Moran. He is on the phone with us again. Dov, thank you for being with us. What do you know about the condition of those who are in hospital right now? We originally told 20 in critical condition. What more can you tell us? So we know that there are approximately uh, almost 100 uh, uh, patients in the hospitals, uh, like you said, 20 in, in uh, the critical and, and uh, worse condition, and, and many others on, on different uh, levels, you know, from light to lightly injured, etc. And the fatality number is up to 44 uh, people who lost their life in this uh, terrible tragedy. When we look at those images, we, we see this is a festival that was attended to by uh, ultra-Orthodox Jews. They tend to have very large families. Do we know uh, at this point if there are children among those who have been hurt or killed? So there are, uh, well, not little children as far as I know, but definitely there are young teens uh, amongst the injured and, and the fatalities. And uh, yes, like you said, uh, almost 100,000 people, mostly Orthodox, ultra-Orthodox, that uh, celebrate this and come from across the country to this mountaintop. Do they normally have this many people who, who show up for, for this kind of festival each year? Was 100,000 fairly standard or was it uh, more than usual? So so actually, usually the, the festival, the celebration, takes place for a period of about uh, 24 to 48 hours, depending on the, on the year, etc. And and this is a totally normal number. And a usual year uh, in a celebration like this, there could be um, approximately 400,000 people that come through the mountaintop, coming and going over the period of a 24 to 48 hours. So this is, this is a, a reasonable number, except, uh, except for some reason at a certain point, um, the, the congestion in certain areas on the mountaintop was simply unbearable, and, and, and it just caused the stampede problem. It's under, obviously under, under police investigation, but, but uh, that's what it seems. And what can you tell us about the scene where this is all believed to have taken place, where the crush happened, where the people were hurt and died? What was that area specifically used for? Where were they going to and where were they coming from uh, by using that pathway? So it's, it, it, the mountaintop has like a, a big a, a historical tomb um, and and this is and they surround the prayers within the tomb and surrounded and this the area of the incident itself was in the lower part beneath uh, at the lower part and surrounded back end of the of this uh, structure uh, where it's like a bottleneck um, of a of a of a steep uh, staircase um, that simply hundreds of people pulling in at the same time uh, and and more people coming from the other direction on the bottom of it caused a massive amount of congestion and simply people got squashed. And this was just the usual ebb and flow of, of foot traffic? There was nothing, no particular event which had taken place that people were trying to get to or were leaving from? So initially uh, they pronounced that there was some sort of uh, collapse of a structure but there was, wasn't any uh, apparent evidence of that on the scene. Rather simply it was, it was movement of thousands of people through different bottlenecks into this certain area which was very tight and small, and, and it simply couldn't withhold this amount of people. From your experience, from everything that you've seen over all the years that you've been attending these sort of tragic uh, events in Israel, what, how would you describe this one in, in terms of you know, context and what you've seen? I would describe this as at a certain point when I was in the, in the staging area of this mass casualty incident, uh, as we call it. I, I simply had flashbacks to the beginning of the 2000s when we were experiencing here big terror waves and buses blowing up. That's what, that's what it felt like. It was simply seeing um, dozens and dozens of, of critically injured patients undergoing the, uh, CPR and, 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 and treatment and in a scene that was impossible because evacuation was, was almost impossible because of the thousands of people surrounding. It was, it was simply a, a tragic and, 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 and horrific. Yeah, tragic and horrific to say the least. Dolph, thank you uh, for, for that update. We appreciate you taking the time to speak with us and share those details. We wish you all the very best. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye.